Good morning, Tamsin Cochran. I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to make rosemary bread using the bread maker. Now, I love making bread without a bread maker. I do it quite often. But the convenience of a bread maker, for me, is amazing. I can just get the bread on, have it working while I'm carrying on with other things. I can have it set to go overnight so we wake up in the morning to fresh bread. I can have it set to go um, so that I end up with the bread when I need the bread. And honestly, that is a huge help. Sometimes I just use the bread maker to make the dough because I want to do rolls. So at that point, I will take the dough out, knock it back, turn it into rolls, prove them, put them in the oven. Um, you can do jam in the bread maker. Um, as my youngest son Benjamin will tell you, you can make tomato ketchup in the bread maker. So it is a very useful uh, piece of equipment to have in the kitchen. And if you look at the list of ingredients in shop bought bread, certainly for me here in America, it's appalling. And it's so easy, so easy to make bread. So <clears throat> I'm just going to show you how quickly it is. So the recipe is on my website. I'm going to put some hot water in here and how I know and where I work it to every time is I run my hot tap until putting my finger on the isn't so comfortable and that's when I know I've got it to a temperature that I'm happy with. So that's what I'm going to do now quickly. I don't need a lot of water. It's, uh, as I said the recipe is on my uh, page. I do not have the paddle. <laughs> I apologise. So anyway, you've got a, a bread pan, a paddle, obviously I take it off for cleaning. Um, let's put that back on. Let's put the water in. And that's that done. Now we're going to put some olive oil in. I've got it here. Normally it's there. Let's do it. So let me uh, put olive oil. Once again, this is a, this recipe works without the bread bin, the bread bin, the bread machine. Um, so it's one, let's just get this, so we can put our olive oil in there. Once again, my little last licks. I love my last licks so useful. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what I, guess, what I normally do. I don't know why I was moving out of sight. I'll just put it there because uh, it lets me put everything in it. It gets dirty and I personally find that very helpful. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put salt in now. So it's got the olive oil. I've got the salt. And two and a half teaspoons. I need the bread flour. And, uh, once again, if you can get the bread, please do. Um, if you can't, then do at least go for unbleached. Um, <coughs> the thought alone of bleach should be certainly buying any. Flowers. You don't need them enriched. You don't need yes, only five cups, so that's three. Four. Five. And then uh, my mum is here and she kindly went outside and just picked me uh, fresh rosemary from my own garden. It is gorgeous. Um, and we are just going to chop that. Now I do have a herb chopper, chopper, which makes it very easy because obviously I can just go like that. I can actually get it done. If you do not have one, if that was me right now, let me go my knife drawer. 
then actually I just get a larger knife. I'm going to hold one end down and I'm just going to use this end to chop through it. And you can keep doing that. And it's going to work just as well. Okay. So sometimes I, obviously I have a kitchen with many things in. I'm uh, someone who's definitely in love with cooking. And uh, over the years have collected many things. But a kitchen does not need to have half of what I have in mind. Um, so, you know, I will always try and show you the other way around it. Um, I don't want to chop it down too much because that will get rid of uh, some of the oils and things. So we're going to do it quickly and easily. And you would notice I left the stems on in the centre. Um, around this rosemary, um, you can eat them, they taste delicious, you're chopping them up anyway, so uh, there's no real reason not to put them in there, don't uh, take all the things off. Now the very base of um, the rosemary, no I wouldn't use that, that's very twiggy now. Um, so I would compost that. Uh, I might put it on my fire to burn. Um, but I, I wouldn't cook with it uh, in bread. Now I would happily put it into a, a casserole or stock. So that's the uh, rosemary. My recipe online on my webpage, I'm pretty sure says about a quarter cup. Um, as you can see, I didn't measure that. But I've got pretty good at guessing and that's what's important. These are my recipes. I've tweaked them so they run to my taste buds. Cooking is about you, not me. So adapt recipes, add a little bit more, a little bit less, change things around, chuck things in and out, experiment. It's fun. It really is. So we need some yeast now. Uh, this I keep in the fridge. So I know I need and I've already used half. Now it's um, two and three quarters, I'm pretty sure. If it's not going to have really hard bread because I should have got the recipe out. So there we go. Literally the order that it comes in, put it in there, and then put it in the bread maker. And uh, here's my bread maker. It's uh, always there on the counter. We are uh, huge friends. So you'll know how to use your own one. And then I'm just going to do a delayed start because I'm wanting to do some more videos here and I don't need this going in the background. So I'm going to tell it to be ready in uh, five hours. Press the start. Forget about it. Fresh bread is what we're going to have in this house.